Welcome to my new course module DevOps CI CD with Jenkins, Maven, Gradle, SonarCube, Docker and Ansible. So this is one of my important and very demanding course module where I have tried my best to discuss the entire CI CD process using various tools in AWS environment. My name is Shikhar Verma and I am the instructor for this entire course module. I am having 13 years of IT industry experience and I have got an opportunity to work various respected companies. My passion is to create online job oriented certified courses. I have been teaching over to 50,000 students online. CICD is a very important part of modern day software release processes. For DevOps engineer, it is very much important to have a good understanding of CICD. So in this entire course module, we will be understanding what is DevOps and its benefits and also we'll understand the different phases of DevOps life cycle. And very important is that which tools comes under which phase of DevOps life cycle. We will be understanding the use of each tool and how to explore it using real time project environment like Spring Boot, Maven, Spring Boot, Tomcat, Gradle, real time project demo etc. So I have created so many real time projects to explain you the various tools comes under the DevOps life cycle. So first I have explained the CI CD with manual approach and once you will be confident in each tool then I have explained the entire CI CD with Jenkins. So Jenkins is a powerful and flexible automation tool. I have divided this entire course module into nine section. Here you can see the first one is the DevOps lifecycle, build tool Maven, SonarCube tool in continuous integration, post GRE SQL database for SonarCube, integrate Nexus with Maven, integrate Nexus with Gradle, CI CD process. So first we'll understand the manual approach using Maven, SonarCube, Docker, AWS, ECR. And once you have the confidence in the manual approach, then we'll do the same thing, the CI CD process using the Jenkins. And finally, we'll understand the continuous deployment using the Ansible playbook. So here I have introduced Docker, Maven, SonarCube, AWS ECR, Jenkins and Ansible playbook. So this is a complete package. So let's understand what exactly we have discussed in each section. So in the first introduction section, we'll understand what is DevOps and its benefits and we'll see the DevOps lifecycle. The next section is build tool Maven. So basically this Maven tool is used to build the Java based project. So I have explained the Maven tool and which is very important to understand. Here I have taken a real time project to understand this Maven tool. So this is the entire thing. Here you can see I have tried to explore the pom.xml which is very important to understand. The next is SonarCube tool in continuous integration. So these tools comes under the CI CD. So here I have tried to explain what is the SonarCube tool and their features, the installation of SonarCube, how we can use the SonarCube to check the code quality of a project. So everything I have tried to explain here. The next section is post GRE SQL database for SonarCube. So here we will do the setup of post GRE SQL database with SonarCube. The next section is how we can integrate Nexus with Maven. So Nexus is your repository. So you have build your package using the Gradle or Maven tool. Now you want to store your project. So where you can store your project. So here we have the Nexus, JFrog, AWS ECR. So here we'll understand how we can integrate Nexus with different tools like Nexus with Gradle, Nexus with the Maven, Nexus with AWS ECR. So here we'll understand the CI CD process we'll do with the manual approach using the Maven, SonarCube, Docker and AWS ECR. So in the previous sections, we got a good idea about the Maven, SonarCube, Docker and AWS ECR. Now in this section, we can use those learnings and we'll do the entire CI CD process. And the next section is your CI CD 
process using the jenkins so whatever we had done in the previous section so same i am going to do with the jenkins so jenkins is a powerful and flexible automation tool so with the help of jenkins you can do automation so this is a very important section here we'll understand about the continuous deployment using ansible playbook so here you can see we are using different different tools in different phases of the devops life cycle so this is the continuous deployment so here i have tried to introduce ansible in the continuous deployment so this way you can understand the use of each tools in each devops life cycle so this is a very important diagram which i have created and this diagram will help you to understand what are the different tools comes under the different phases of devops life cycle like continuous development continuous integration continuous testing continuous deployment and continuous monitoring so the next diagram is also very important which i have used to explain the ci cd so here you can see in the continuous integration i have used the maven sonar cube docker docker image and aws ecr and in continuous deployment i have used the aws ecr and docker and also i have tried to integrate the ansible don't take my words for it look at the reviews which i have received on my various courses i am keeping and updating my courses time to time if you have any concerns suggestions and query you can put it into the question answer forum of this course module or you can directly write to me as well i hope by now you are convinced still if you have any doubts you know the policy 30 days money back guarantee policy so this course will help you to take you to the next level of your career so the question is are you ready for the challenge if yes then enroll the course today only and let's learn together thank you